all of us use keyboard shortcuts. In this video, I am going to show you how to use a shortcuts keyboard, a separate keyboard just for the purpose of pressing shortcut keys. So let's see how this is done. What do you need? A spare keyboard. Any type of old keyboard will do. Whether it is a wired keyboard, wireless keyboard, Bluetooth, doesn't matter. Windows allows me to connect multiple keyboards. But for Windows to understand each keyboard as a separate entity, you need special software. The most popular option is Auto Hotkey with the Auto Hotkey Interceptor. Unfortunately, this keyboard which I am using, Logitech Bluetooth K480, AHK Interceptor doesn't seem to recognize it. So I've looked for alternatives and I found one. Multi Keyboard Macro. It's a Windows app. It's a paid thing, one time fee of $45. So I purchased it, installed it, registered it. First we have to identify the primary keyboard. Click on Detect and press any key on the primary keyboard. It understands. Now the same thing. Detect and then secondary keyboard, press any key. You can leave all keys enabled. So those which are not shortcuts will still work like a regular keyboard. So how to define a shortcut? Click on this button, press the key on the secondary keyboard. I am pressing C and then you want the actual keystroke. So in this case, I am saying Control C. Like that, you could define your macros and save them as a macro set. Any key can be used for any shortcut. But in order to make it easier for me to remember that if I am defining Control V as the shortcut on the secondary keyboard, I am going to use V as the trigger key. That way, remembering things is easier. We can use uh, mouse clicks also. The most sophisticated application for managing keyboard macros is HK or Auto Hotkey. But how do I combine it with this tool? Simple. Install Auto Hotkey. Link I have given in the description. And then you create a text file with .ahk extension. Auto Hotkey doesn't have its own uh, editor, so to say. There are third party editors, but I prefer to use Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code does have Auto Hotkey integration. So go to Extensions and install the Auto Hotkey language support. Once you install the extension, you can edit .hk files inside Visual Studio Code. You just put the requires command. Currently, version is 2.0. And then the command to send keystrokes is send. Now this particular macro I am writing is to move a window from one monitor to another. And the actual shortcut key is shift windows right arrow. So plus sign means shift, hash sign means windows key and curly braces right means right arrow. That's the syntax of auto hotkey. Very comprehensive help file is available with HK. I have this file demo.hk. I'm going to save it and then come back to the multi keyboard macros and add a shortcut. I'll choose the desired shortcut key and instead of typing these keystrokes, I'm going to say edit macro and choose an application. In that application, it's not an exe file, so I choose all files and then I choose the demo HK file. And that's it. Now, when I press the hotkey, it's going to move the window to different monitors. So that way, we get all the benefits of multi keyboard macro and all the sophistication and flexibility of auto hotkey. If you want a more sophisticated alternative, you can use dedicated macro keyboards like Stream Deck. They have lesser number of keys but they also have knobs. Each of those buttons is actually a mini LCD screen. So it shows you the current uh, functionality as an icon and everything is customizable. Whereas in our approach, the keyboard keys are standard and I'll have to put stickers or remember what each key is supposed to do. Of course, Stream Deck and similar products are way more costly. The price range is from $100 to $250. Another cheaper option is Stream Deck Mobile. It is a paid software, around $3 per month. Another alternative 
is MIDI keyboards. Any keystroke in that or any knob movement or any button press can be mapped, but that requires another piece of software. Bottom line, now you know how to create a dedicated keyboard for managing shortcuts and improve your productivity. Let me know your thoughts and share it with as many people as you can. So that's it for now. See you next time. Thank you.